Welcome back to another episode of my reviews on the Creepypasta. I can't wait to pull the vote to my last episode and the most voted was Suicide Mouse. So first of all, Suicide Mouse is meant to be some lost footage that an employee found and is said to have some intention behind of it. The Suicide Mouse is based off the 1930s Mickey Mouse cartoons on TV created by Walt Disney. For most of the websites I've looked around, the video was supposedly created by Walt Disney. To me, it doesn't look like something Walt Disney would have done. However, considering he had a mental breakdown soon after selling Oswald the Lucky Rabbit, I suppose I shouldn't be surprised that he's capable of such bizarre things. The Creepypasta Wiki website gave it a brief st description that follows. SuicideMouse.avi is a lost episode creepypasta and is widely seen as the forefather of the entire lost episode genre. This story is based off an old unseen Mickey Mouse episode. There is also a video that is based off the creepypasta. So like always, I search on the websites Creepypasta and Noyo Meme, but there were other websites that I went to find opinions and facts. So obviously, the reason the title is called Suicide Mouse is because you are driven to cause suicide after viewing it, like many other Creepypastas, an example is Lavender Town. The video probably came from the Walt Disney Studios, although a worker there named Leonard Matlin got a digital copy, he opened it up and noticed that the episode was not 3 minutes but 9 minutes long. So could have Leonard spread this video via the internet as you can view many copies of it on YouTube and other websites. Suspicions fly around saying that the video was created on the one and only 4chan, but given the creepypasta wiki story it has no involvement of 4chan and is strictly talking about the first person view of from a person who gives no name but an initial TR. He says he cannot find the copy of the video anywhere, a link to the video is in the description. Next, the video itself. The video seems to be repeated frames of Mickey walking until 1.49 into the video stops. Until 5.04 it comes back with the same video but with different audio. In the audio it's somebody screaming. Around 5.57 the suspenseful music grows louder and louder, just making the video's atmosphere a lot more creepier. It goes on until 6.10 and you can hear someone's voice screaming which sounds realistic and as if someone's being harmed. The weird stuff really starts to happen at 6.25 where the video goes all wavy and a new dimension seems to appear. At 6.37 a deep voice is played in the background, it sounds backwards but I took the audio file, opened it up in Audacity and reversed it, the same audio seemed to appear, maybe it's not being reversed but a mumbled bit of speech. At 6.41 a deep scream is now also playing in the background and it sounds like he's in an empty room with an echo that's causing the effect of what the audio sounds like. 7.03 again another audio is played in the background of the deep voice, this time it's a bit longer. 7.19 at the bottom of the screen where it's black, if you look at the bottom it seems like some kind of monster comes up for a second and then goes down, that's my guess but it could be many things. Now at 7.24 everything goes disoriented and all wiggly. 7.48 a green background appears with a horrific scream, again. Lastly 8.45 the movie has now changed from the walking to a close up of a blank Mickey Mouse's face with some trippy music. The video is creepy and a lot of people debate whether their intention is behind the video or if it's a lie. I'll leave that up for you to decide. There's a part in the story that gets described as Mickey's face began to fall off. His eyes rolled on the bottom of his chin like two marbles and a fishbowl. And his killed smile was pointing upward on the left side of his face. But did anyone see this in the film? I mean it could still possibly be there and we never got to see it like the Russian text at the end of the video that we supposedly didn't get to see. But in this squid with suicide you never get to see the underage murdered pictures so I guess again that's up for you to decide. On the Russian text that we never get to see, apparently it's meant to say the sights of hell bring its viewers back in. But why is it in Russian? Didn't this TV show get popular in the USA? I mean, other countries might have saw it, but their main seller was America. Wouldn't the language and words be in English? Walt Disney was from Chicago, Illinois, in America, and I can't find any connections with Russia and Disney. So basically, this whole paragraph is the holes in the story, and it's up to your own belief to make a conclusion. So to sum it all up, this was a creepy, creepy pasta. The video was well done compared to other ones I've seen and it came along with the story which was pretty good and made the scare factor higher for a lot of viewers. People seem to have mixed feelings about this story and you should comment about them. Were you scared? Did you have any belief? Do you think Walt Disney could have made such a dark episode with a meaning behind it after his mental breakdown? I believe he could do this. For you who don't know, Walt Disney was a racist and some of the racist movies he made was shocking. It wouldn't surprise me after some of the films he's made and a mental breakdown added on, he had a dark side to him to make something creepy. 
Remember to subscribe if you like this video and check out my other episodes and my let's plays. Like, dislike, depending on your opinion of the video. Comment on what you want to see next and feedback and have a nice day.